Arjen Boyne, uh, you work as Professor of Public Governance and Crisis Management at the University of Utrecht. Now, how would you define crisis management within governance? Uh, crisis management in governance is the whole set of uh, activities, processes, um, organizations that are aimed to help um, government and the population uh, deal with threats that come usually suddenly and that are um, that have to be dealt with urgently under circumstances of uncertainty. Okay. And what would you say are the key features of successful crisis management? Um, successful crisis management, I would define as it has to be both effective, so you know, it has to work, mm -hmm. and it has to be legitimate. So people will have to think that this is the way to do it. And the key defining features would be uh, a set of functions that the government has to fulfill in, in this set of, uh, in, in, within crisis management. So I would think about uh, detection, early detection of crisis. I would think about sense making, understanding what's happening during a crisis. I would think about coordination, making sure that all the right people are doing the right things. Um, I would think about critical decision making, making the right calls at the right level of government. Communication, explaining to the public what is going on and why that's being done. And then of course there is, after the crisis, there's something like learning and accountability making sure that we get out of the crisis in a much better shape than when we went in. Yeah, and how would you say that crisis management can be useful for dealing with global and connected risks, such as environmental risks or political risks? I think um, uh, international or transboundary crisis management is important because um, I think we're all accepting that we cannot prevent these threats. So some of them will materialize in one way or another and we, we don't know which ones and we don't know how. So then we need the capacity to jointly um, work together across boundaries, across you know countries and, and legal boundaries, administrative boundaries, to jointly cope with something that we don't know what's going to happen. And that's why crisis management is important. 